Okay, I'm going to take apart several different items. This here is a old D-Link router that was discarded. Any questions whether or not it's still a valid device will be answered as soon as I destroy it. Usual trash cups. Take apart a few things because this one's probably going to be a pretty simple one. Let's see what do we got. Make sure nothing. Try and make sure nothing else is holding this together. Oh, there are more screws. Fancy that. Must be getting screwed here. Anyway. Alright, let's see what that does. Great security tape. That was just spite right there. All right. Okay, here's a side up. Trying to figure out where there may be more screws. This is gonna be more of a bear than I thought. Thing. Let's, heck, let's just undo it. This is the screws for the fan motor. Uh -huh. Let's move this over here. Let's see a little better. As I started to undo this screw, I started, heard a little. Down inside. Let's get a knife out. Ozark Trails cheap. Ah. There we go. You can tell this is set outside for a while. Look at that rust. All these little light LED lights, wow. There ain't much to these, but interesting nonetheless. Plug that little fan. These are all aluminum, I might I'll take these. And I'm not showing you anything. The fan here is aluminum. Other circuit board stuff. Let's see. Gotta switch it. Here's a plug. I'm do this. Better view there. Er, undo this stupid thing. Worst case scenario, I can always just take my sight my sight cutters and cut the heck out of the wire. Seem to be a connector there, or a screw there. 
Yeah, I know this thing's extremely simple. There ain't much to it. All it is is a modem slash router or whatever. Alright. I thought this thing was totally modifiable though. This totally came unplugged. <laughs> There's that. This is the power inlet here. It's grounded here. And right there is the rest of it. Well, so you see it's like the type of a back of your computer. Uh, it's a computer item. There's a screw. There are a few different items, and I'll put, uh, down in the description, I'll put a. Uh, you can click uh, whatever you want to call it when you put the ti time stamps, excuse me. Put time stamps in there if you don't want to watch this. You can go to the next item. There's a handful of things I'm going to try here. There's another one. It's always fun trying to figure out how many controllers. I might do a video later, go through this circuit board a little more, and rip some of the things inside of it to shreds. There's, let's see. There's a screw. be free now. Ta-da! And relatively no damage. I might do a later video where I just rip into these things. These are all Cat5 or whatever videos. I wonder if these would be reusable. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, there's that one. Whoops, there goes a screw. Oh, well. Anyway. Oh, here, what do we got here? I'm going to tear this apart too. I'm not quite sure what exactly how yet, other than brute force. I never like this thing anyway. Didn't smell that well. It wasn't bad smells. It just didn't. Um, it didn't seem very effective. Put it that way. It's got one of those uh, screws. All right. It's got uh, one of them screws like on the Nintendo items. Those triple. I decided this is the way because there's no freaking there's no freaking way to get into it. I don't even know if they do these things really much anymore. I don't care. I just get a, can, a dollar can of Glade from the Walmart. Okay, I don't know if you can see it right in there. It's, uh, yes. No, you can't see it very well. I'll get it out. Destroying the imports for the fragrances, which sucked. The fragrance was fine, it just didn't do its job. Ah. Alright, you see here, I separated it from the rotating plug. 
apparently you couldn't just keep going in circles because that would just bind it up. Let's see what happens when you do this. Out it goes. Trash. Garbage. Here's the... Uh, let's see. Do this by hand. So you look here, there's a switch here to suggest to select your setting. It was this little bracket here. If you go, it puts this switch back and forth. That's how that more or less worked. Brute force usually helps with some of this crap. Especially when they don't provide screws. I guess I understand why. They don't really want you beating the tar. This the idea of this thing is to heat it up and create the oils or whatever's in the fragrance to a pleasing aroma. Jeez Louise. Let's get rid of this. Ah, gotcha. There's another computer board in here I can see. Okay. These are the little heater elements in here. I'm going to go ahead and cut one in half. Bye, peace. It's now a rocket man. Hard to really. Here we are. I guess this sucker here is just a little heater element. Actually, just heats up the oils in this thing. Look here. There's another board, circuit board, and equivalent on this side. These things are kind of annoying. Good thing plastic's cheap. I remember what brand this was. I tore it up too quick. Might have been Glade. Who knows? Good pair of side cutters. That stupid retarded screw. Not anymore. Well, yes, more. <laughs> oh, there goes that button. Another rocket man. I keep thinking I'm hearing some neighbor play fireworks in September. I don't think that's part of the 4th of July. There. When in doubt, cut the screw out. Right here. Here's those old two little circuit boards. Actually, what I can do is just go more trash. Here's the, all, most all the electrical components with this thing. Some resistors, a few small items. I had the bigger piece over here. I'm trying to remember. Oh, here it is. Let's see. I don't even know what the brand is on this one. <laughs> Some of you might know just by looking at it. Not too proud of their product, I guess, if they don't want to make it. Oh, well, anyway. These also warn about starting fires. Anyhow. One more. I'll do one more item. This old phone. I'll save the battery for another take apart.
worthless to buy these stupid things. Sometimes they cost more than the phone. Tweaker. My word for it, not just what I choose. Old phone, old, old phone. Quit working a long time ago. Let my kids play with it for a long time. They had so many dang devices, now they don't need that. So I'm going to take it apart and get rid of it. Too much junk. One more thing I'll do after this. The phone. They always make it tricky. That's the cool thing about it being broke. Who cares? Oh, well. <laughs> wow, that's actually a fairly interesting circuit board. Let's take it apart. Oh, ah, this is just trash. So is this. Oh, buttons. I'm going to take this out. <laughs> the buttons will probably go everywhere. I think it's so funny. It's like when I took the Nintendo 64 controller apart. Mind you, not a broke one. I'm probably going to take another one apart that was made by Mad Cat. Uh, they should have made their name Mad Crap. Because that's what they made. Crap. I hope that company's dead. I never saw such worthless pieces of junk as a Mad Cat Nintendo 64 controller. Even some of the other off-brand controllers, which were still junk, worked far superior to that. Here's your little speaker. And then here's the receiver. Kind of a little different circuit board there. And as Dee Dee would say in Dexter's Laboratory, button, button. Who's got the buttons? I do. Want to talk? <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I know. Anyway. One last thing. I'm not quite sure if I can get into this. It's an old, to a machine, an old breaker. I may have to do be to be continued on this one. I'm not sure. Where did I see the few screws on this thing? This one may be for another day. Because this one's going to be a bear to take it off take apart. All I see for screws is oh. well, obviously I found a control. I go like this. This is like a vault at Fort Knox. Let's see what happens when I start cutting. Wow, this crap is fragile. Let me get a cup just for this stuff. Here, trash, trash. 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 So it looks like this thing's just going to disintegrate. See what we can find in here. Here's where the wires attach. Oh wow. This thing is fragile. If I knew that, I might have took it outside and dropped a rock on it. It's not rigid plastic, it's brittle. Let's see how we can this. Ah, there we go.
this is right here is how they when they tie down the wire goes in here or whatever item you got wire cord whatever you screw this down and it gets put in the it, it can make a connection this is like a wow this is gonna be a demo, total demolition party what happens if I go like this can't be the plastic creating all this way so I'm thinking I found copper and various other maybe semi precious metals not really but it's really kind of like cracking an egg I should put it in a bag and just really wallop it I suppose I'll have to get the Dyson out. It's like freaking glass. Hey, Christian! Come here! Yeah, uh, enlist my son. Enlist my son's help for me. I'm still recording, but I need. Uh, can you get me a Walmart sack? Empty okay. one? Thank you. This is like a freaking egg. I don't want to really wallop it because the crap will fly everywhere. Mess. He bringing a bag now. All right. All right. We don't want pieces to fly too much. You go. Ah, wow, that felt nice. You know, we're getting somewhere when you see pieces starting. Man, this thing's fragile. Oh. Whoa, I really shattered this guy. Look at this. Some of the parts coming out. Look at that. Just gone to pieces. That's not real. Starting to get a picture of what's inside the same resistors and whatever, and crap, and baloney, and garbage. Sorry. <laughs> I knocked the metal out of it. Oddly enough, I haven't really shattered. I guess this thing ain't going to do much anymore. more of this crap comes out. I'm going to go ahead and... Whoa! Just had a baby. There you go. I'm going to give a couple busts to this here. It's like this whole piece is trying to come off. <laughs> Took a bunch of the guts out of a lot of the different devices in this thing.
Whoops, dropped some trash. Oh well. When in doubt, throw it on the floor, right? Har har har. There's part of it that's broken off. This thing's becoming more and more useless by the second. It's got three breakers in it, so I... All that crap. And when I'm done here, I'll kind of get a view inside. This is taking a little bit. Oh, I just got a whole bunch of it go apart. Here's some more. More. Man, I've never seen this. I don't know if that's just special. I don't know. It just seems chintzy. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. More of the same. Really. A lot of copper, anyway. Now. Okay, you pretty much see what's inside. I pretty much obliterated this thing. I don't know if you've seen there. Kind of makes me think of uh, all the pieces from a Lego set. Star Destroyer Lego set. But, well, thanks for your patience. Thanks for watching. And I'll put a timestamp for each of these devices. The breaker, the phone, the... aroma crap thing and then the modem thank you and have a nice day